Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. Many times during channel, we will sense the time to bring you profound information. Things that humans need to know. Today is a bit different. The human condition, how you think where you are in this evolving planet is really what is at a hand right now. Dear ones, I want to create something in this room. I want to create harmony. Harmony of thought. I want to talk to you personally right now about what you're facing. And for some of you, it happens slow for others quickly. For you all have a path that is unique. But all you, all of you are facing change. Sometimes it has already occurred in your life and for some of you it's coming. This shift of the planet, the one that has been foretold by the ancients, is here. The whole reason for Cryon is the shift. I've told you before that many started channeling around 1989 preparing you for what was coming for the shift that you're in we have told you that it's easy to be caught up in it and not understand it because you're in a circumspect box where all you see is you and now we are pleading for something more old souls you are needed to balance yourself so that those around you can see your balance and change because of it. And there's no reason not to change gracefully. With the wisdom that is yours around so many things, there is no reason to fear the changes at hand. We told you early on that Nothing would escape the change. The things that you hold most dear may be altered. They may alter themselves. That there will be changes perhaps in your biology, readjustments and recalibrations in your relationships, in business, in your vocation, your avocation, literally in what you like and don't like. We told some of you early on that there would be greater shifts in how you feel and the emotions you might have would be higher and lower in these times. And that some of you would even go for medical help because it was so different. And immediately you say, what is wrong with me? That's the profundity of a shift that involves everything. Shifts are not always bad. Many shifts move into benevolence when there was none before. Solution when there was none before. And so I ask you, dear human, why is it that when change and shift starts to occur that you didn't expect you would simply go to the worst common denominator, which is fear. You've all had good things happen. Unexpectedly. That comes with life. Why do you expect the worst during this one? And the answer is this, because this one is the big one. This one starts to change your consciousness make you ask questions literally you've never asked before has you perhaps awaken to new truths 
And in that, many of you are starting to also become more compassionate. I'm with family. If I could wish anything for you, wish is not the word. If I could envision anything for you, it would be a smile on your face, joy in your heart. And an understanding that goes beyond the reality you see in 3D. Change. If you take the word change, six letters, let's design the polarity of it. Let's make three letters negative and three positive. That's the duality. How do you see it? You start with C. C could represent a coherence of sameness. Let us say you're coherent in that which you have because it doesn't change. Because it's always the same. There is a coherence that makes you want to stay in the same place. It feels good because you figured it out. It feels good because you think you know what's next. And you're more joyful in these situations of coherent belief. And then something changes. Like you have a circle of friends that have always been the same. And suddenly they bring in someone new. Perhaps someone they just met. And now the circle is different. In fact, it interrupts the circle to the, same, to the point where you want to quit. Because they changed the coherence you had as the group that you were. This is a metaphor for this planet right this minute. The coherence of everything that used to be is starting to move. And often, you don't like it at all. Just like the newcomer who changed the attitude, the consciousness, the feeling, and the joy of a circle you thought you knew. What do you do with it? Human nature says you quit. You've had enough. Or you fight to keep the circle the same. That's not an old soul, dear one. That's what the eight-year-old in the playground does. Because it's all they have. The H, another negative one, if you want to say, is you have a really hard time with what I'll call the great lie. And the great lie is this. Everything that's going to happen in the future can be judged by what has happened in the past. You simply call upon that which was in order to cognize that which will be. And therefore, no matter what happens in the change, you see it as trouble. Always negative. Nothing good could come of this change, you say, because look at the past, it never did before. And so, the big lie is that nothing will ever, ever change past what you know. We'll say this again so you understand it. The future may be filled with things you've never seen. It may be benevolent in ways you never could see or expect. If suddenly you get sick and you have things happen to you that have never happened before, what's the first reaction? Oh, there was a coherence of health. Why did it change? What's wrong with me, you say? What have I done wrong, you say? And the big lie. That every time there's a change like this, it's bad news. Just look at what's happened in the past. Just look at the other person. This cannot be good. Therefore, you start to close up shop. 
The big lie. Nothing is new. Old soul, how do you feel about that? I am reciting to you right now human nature that I know is in this room. You judge everything by what has gone before. A is anxiety over it all. Anxiety that will shorten your life with change. When you take a look at the polarity of change, there are those who will understand it and there are those that will not. Change in itself is an enemy. And it's treated as an enemy because it disrupts what was, which was just fine with you. And now we'll get into three positives. We're looking at polarity of change. And nothing is as it seems. If you have followed the channels of Cryon, if you have followed that which is the story of Michael Thomas in the journey home, the seven angels who kept talking to him said, Michael, nothing is as it seems here. Don't make up your mind what you think you know. And that entire story is about a man who had a surprise at the end, something that had never happened before, even when he thought he had figured it out. It's a story about his polarity, the dark and light within his mind and brain. Old soul, as you sit there, are you willing to understand you don't know everything. <laughs> it's not repeated history. These things with you personally and also planetarily are going to shift in ways that have not happened before. There's going to be integrity and compassion that never happened before. Amongst what you might think is turmoil because that's all you get to see. Things are not always as they seem. And so the old soul knows that and sits back and watches and does not expect the worst. The health issue that you might have found out about, you can sit back and smile and say, that was them, not me. And you work through it and you find other ways that nobody has ever told you before to create health when there was no health to cure the things that nobody has cured. You tend to make up your mind before anything happens, what's going to happen? Not the old soul, not the balanced one. I want you to see in your mind, no matter what it is right now that bothers you, whether it's personal or planetary, I want you to see a clean slate and a blackboard with nothing on it. Nothing. So whatever is written upon it, you can accept and it won't be surprise and it won't be necessarily what's happened in the past. There are things that are going to change that are beyond what you expect. I'll tell you, you think you've seen changes lately that were difficult or you didn't expect? Just wait. There are other things that are going to upset the apple cart of normalcy. It has to be. We told you this. And the old soul is going to watch it like they watch a television program. And they're going to go to bed after the program and sleep like a baby. Because they know they're part of the shift and their balance is easy to come by. They've got it figured out. They are part of the world. They don't have to participate past being balanced. That's the job of an old soul. To have the integrity to speak out of the things that they have to believe. That is part of the old soul. To do it all with balance and love and compassion. That is part of the old soul. It's beautiful. How an old soul creates change and reacts to change and is part of change. G is the great gift. 
Can you imagine a time where whatever you're worried about right now, can you imagine when you would look back and say, that was the greatest gift of my life, the greatest gift of our time. Something happened that caused me to do something I never would have done before that put me in a place that is peaceful, beautiful with the people that I love instead of dramatic with others who don't agree. And you can look and say, I would never ever have been here in this beautiful place without that gift with the, at the time seemed tumultuous. That's the beauty of the wisdom of an old soul. Being able to see a gift in turmoil. You're actually a precog of your own consciousness. You're able to see right now and feel where it's going before it goes there. So you can relax. Dear ones, things may not go where you think they will, even in a benevolent way. Would you accept something better? Would you accept another surprise beyond the one that you have personally now? And old so will, because they'll understand that they are part of the greatest shift in humanity, one that sociologists will talk about in the future. When human nature itself started to move past that which it had ever been in history. We have spoken of this so many times. Those of you who listen are tired of hearing it. And I'll tell you, don't ever get tired of hearing good news. Because the more you hear it, the more you'll cognize it, the more you'll live it, the more you believe it, and the more you'll realize, dear ones, the creative source that I represent right now is telling you the truth. You'll get through it. Can you relax with the truth? You'll get through it. It's beautiful. E. E could stand for so many things. Let us stand for beautiful energy. The energy of completion, compassion, balance, understanding, and a good night's sleep. Do you realize how well you sleep when all is well in your life? It is. You may think all is not well in your life, and I'll tell you, that's polarity. That's you deciding what's wrong instead of what is wrong. Family, you sit in the greatest shift that ever was when it comes to humanity. You start going in the direction that will eventually create a beautiful scenario of a planet that never will war. And in the process, you're going to have to slog through some things. It may take a generation more for this to happen. The classic example we give it yet again was the Israelis which you then called Israelites, who came out of slavery. The oldest and darkest energy that you can imagine that enslaved them and their children, shortened their lives and made life hell for a very long time. And when the release came, you would think that this would be the most joyful thing possible and all there was was complaints. <laughs> and then they marched in the desert in a circle for 40 years. And I'll tell you why yet again, yet again, yet again. You cannot take those who have had the consciousness of slavery and all their past lives and all their lives and take them into the glorious promised land because it won't work. A whole generation had to die. They didn't live that long back then. And the children did not have that. And then they could move. Even the one who led them couldn't go. Not really. 
Not really. That's how powerful the past is to your future. Are you getting it? You cannot then take an old energy consciousness and simply reframe it overnight. I'm giving you the ABCs. That's what I do. That's why I came. And that's why I'll continue. To give you this good news in pieces and parts that you can understand and work with so that you won't have to die and come back. That you can do it while you're alive and here as an old soul. We need it now. So do you. Old soul, expect to live longer than you expect to live. Watch your language. Because by habit, you start telling of your own demise. By habit. Watch the words that come out of your mouth. Because they really do set a pattern for the reality of who you are. Think to yourself, there's a grand machine listening to every word and that that machine will deliver what you ask for. And think of what you're asking for. Think so hard that you may stop and reframe that which you say to others. Let the integrity of all of this sink in. You don't have to talk as fast if you don't want to. Think about what you're saying. And reframe words into benevolent, compassionate things that you expect for yourself. The affirmations are the key, and we have said this before. Make your own affirmations and say them. Let your body hear who you are. For this is the order that you're placing. Yet again, I talk about this. Because that is the reality of your culture and your life. You go to a place, you sit down, you place an order, and it arrives. That is how clear this is for your life in this energy. You've got to start thinking out of what was or what you think will be into a new earth with a new human. You're saying it right now, hear it. When? When will it happen? Not soon enough. Not soon enough for you. There is learning. Doesn't it make sense? You've only just arrived into this energy. There's going to be learning. And there will be some who will pass over and come back and continue. But when you come back, I've said this before, you'll be aware of what's happened. You won't make the mistakes you made before, and you'll continue who you are. There'll be a new sense delivered from your Akash, and you will remember what you're here for. It could be, indeed, a while before you start to see these things manifesting on your news. And yet, many of you are seeing them manifest in your personal life now. You start small and get big. It's a great, it's a great message of what truly is happening on the planet. Finally, I say this. Make no mistake. You don't have to be of a certain belief for any of this to happen. Major religions on the planet teach compassion. Watch for this, for they will start to morph as well. And what they will do is they'll start seeing one another differently. Watch for this. There'll be forgiveness. Watch for this. There'll be a realization that they're all on the same track with the same creator. Watch for this. You don't have to be what you call a new ager to participate in one of the grandest changes that have ever taken place. It's going to be intrinsic. It's going to be something that is absolutely known. How you will act and what to do. That's who you are, old soul. 
let the change begin. And so it is.